Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with the Internal Revenue Service. Welcome to my uh, YouTube station. It's the home of the five minute or less video. You're not going to listen to me any longer than that, and I don't want to talk any longer than that. Uh, I've been doing this for uh, 50 years. I worked for IRS for a decade. I've been in private practice for four decades. Uh, I have a whole team of former IRS agents on staff. You can find my information below. I do this for three reasons. Number one, that you don't get ripped off. There's a lot of garbage out there and a lot of people, shady people in this industry. They've come from different industries. They're owned by hedge fund companies and they really don't know what they're doing and they're trying to flip you and sell you into paying them a large fee. Number two, I do this for information so you can see the insider scoop from an IRS agent and third to be really educational you need in fact to know what in fact is, is, is really is really going is really going on. It's important that you, you know that uh, just so you get don't get ripped off. One of the, the key pieces in dealing with IRS is a financial statement that you give IRS. Um, I like I said I've worked ten thousand cases. Everything rests on the decision of your case on what IRS is gonna do is on your financial statement. It's key. It's absolutely key. The whole settlement is all built around the 433F that goes to the service center, the 433A that goes to the revenue officer, or the 433A OIC that goes to the offer group to work your case. If you don't know about it and you've never done this, do not work your case. You are a fool. I am telling you, you're a fool because you don't know what IRS is looking for. I'm going to explain a little of that to you so you understand. When IRS looks at that financial statement, they're looking at your assets, your liquidity, and they're looking at your income versus your living expenses, your necessary living expenses. When IRS gets that form, they're asking one question, how can we collect the money? They're only going to collect it through your asset base or your income base. That's what they are going to do. So let me tell you, do not give those financial statements to IRS unless you're broke and you don't have nothing. And there's a lot of people that do. And if that you submit the financial statement to them, you're going to have to have it documented. You're going to have to have bank statements and pay stubs and a copy of all your expenses that you will need to give that to them. Remember, IRS is trying to collect a tax debt. So let's look at your assets. They're going to want to know what the fair market value of those assets are. You're going to have to put that on paper. IRS is also going to want to know what your income is and what your expenses are. There's a big catch, a big hook, and you better understand what IRS is doing. IRS only allows you X amount of dollars for your expenses. They do not allow all your living expenses to go toward wherever you want. IRS has what's called the IRS National Standards. Google them. IRS National Standards for one Google is housing and utilities. Next, food and clothing. Next, car payments. Next, operation of cars. Yes, IRS locks you specifically, locks you in specifically to what they will go ahead and allow for necessary living expenses. So that's where the big trick is. IRS may ask you to liquidate some things, take some money out of some things to pay them, but they will get you hooked in the IRS national standards for these food and clothing. And what you think you're going to get IRS to allow you, they're not. They're going to flip that and have you make those payments to them that they thought were not reasonable and above the national standards. That's how you get hooked by IRS setting in a really deep payment plan to you because you're not aware of these IRS national standards. If you have a larger case, do not do this by yourself. Hire us, hire who the hell you want to. Don't get tricked in the IRS national, and they're all they're online. Once again, IRS national standards for food and clothing, IRS national standards for housing and utilities, IRS national standing for car payment, IRS national standard for operation. IRS will only 
allow you their standards and not you. I don't want you looking at a high dollar amount payment. Okay, so that's why you don't give them a statement because you don't know how IRS is going to go ahead and gauge you and that's how they trap you. Let our professional help you through this process. If this information was good, please, please go ahead and give me a subscription. I love to have subscriptions. It helps me with YouTube actually. When YouTube sees you have subscriptions, I have around 3,500. They set me higher than most and I do try to give you the information you need. Leave me a comment. I love comments. I uh, will go ahead maybe and make a, a YouTube from the comment you leave me. Thank you very much. I've given you the information you need. My information is in the description section below. Blessings to you.